It's the 4th of July. I hope you all have a happy and safe one. Today I want to talk about stabilizing rocks. I have some chrysocolla here that I want to stabilize. And some of it needs it, some of it doesn't. I'm just going to do it all. Um, what else I have? I have an old can. So save some of your old cans because we're going to use acetone and five minute epoxy. <clears throat> well, the acetone eats up plastic, so you need something other than a plastic container. You can cut down a soda can. I just save old bean cans or whatever, wash them out, and save them for when I'm going to do this. The other two items I have here is a, <clears throat> a toaster oven. I bought it at a thrift store for $5. And then I have my Vivor uh, vacuum chamber and pump which I did a video on a while back, okay? So <clears throat> you can do this without the vacuum. Uh, you would heat the rocks in the toaster oven first and then drop them into your can of solution we're gonna make up here and then put them back in the oven. And we're doing this outside today because we're gonna have acetone fumes and you don't want those in your house or your garage. So if you do this, do it outside, okay? And after you've made up your solution, you don't want your acetone near your toaster oven, okay? So first off, we're going to put some five minute epoxy into our can here. Then we're going to mix it with some acetone. I don't do any super accurate uh, measurements of any type. I'll, sh I'll show you in a second. And we'll stir it around and then we'll put it in the vacuum chamber for about 10 minutes. We don't have to go any longer than that. So let me uh, set the phone down for a second and then we'll uh, get this epoxy going. Okay, so, so far I've covered the bottom of the can with the hardener. It's about an eighth to a quarter inch thick, depending how much you want to make. Next, I'm going to put in the, the base. So I've covered the uh, hardener with equal amount of base. I'm going to go get a stick, and then we're going to uh, a popsicle stick, and then we'll start stirring this up. Okay, so I've got the epoxy well mixed. Now I'm going to add the acetone. Okay, so I added the acetone, mixed it around thoroughly, it's about 10 to 1. 10 parts um, acetone to the amount of uh, epo 5 minute epoxy that you, you've placed in there. Now we're going to add our rocks to the epoxy. Okay, we got the chrysocolla in there. I had two large pieces left over I couldn't fit for the amount I made. Um, we're going to get this in the vacuum pump in a second. Okay, got the chrysocolla in the solution inside of the vacuum chamber. And you can already see the air starting to come out of there. Now you can control how much this foams up by letting air back in. If it gets foamed up too much, you take the red lever and just let some air back in. You can kind of control the rate at which it comes out. You don't really have to go more than 10 minutes or so. And then we're going to put it in the toaster oven. And we're going to put it in the toaster oven at about, get it on bake at about 225. And we'll leave it in the toaster oven for about an hour. So I'll get back to you when the vacuum chamber's done. So the bubbling it's mostly stopped. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. And it's been less than 10 minutes. I'm getting all kinds of reflections here. Let's see. So we're going to take it out now. So we've got all the pieces spread out on the pan here. We've got the oven on. We're going to put them in. We're going to leave them for an hour. And I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay. Our rocks are done cooking. One thing I didn't mention before we started the video was that the rocks were cleaned first and allowed to dry thoroughly first. We put them out, I live in the desert, so we have 7% humidity. I just put them out in the sun to dry them off. So you want clean rocks before you do this. All right, so let's check these out. 
still a little warm. This is a piece of Chinese uh, turquoise. It's in the bottom of that container I didn't realize was in there. You can see the it's a slight shine to it. This, this rock's still warm here. I don't know what this is. It's kind of a, has a pinky shoe to it. I don't know if it's a calcite, a limestone. And a lot of them have this white coating on the outside. I, I don't know what this rock is. But our chrysocolla comes out really good. Like I said, some of this chrysocolla you can turn into a cabochon with no problem. If there's no issues with it. Some of it's a little softer. So I just err on the side of being safe because it's frustrating when something breaks in the middle of turning it into a cab. And... Uh, Give me an opportunity to make you guys this video. Now, I gotta apologize for that last video I made on the Chalcedony Roses vibratory tumbling them. It did not look that blown out in the highlights when I uploaded it from my phone, but I may be pulling that down and see if I can retrieve the highlights and, and, and put it back up. Um, if I can't, then I, I won't repost it if I take it down anyway. Hope you all have a happy, safe 4th of July. I hope this video helped you uh, understand an easy way of doing this. I like this a lot better than using Opticon. Uh, you know, with Opticon, you have to recode it after you uh, take it out of the vacuum chamber. You have to put the hardener on afterwards. So you can, the, the difference is with Opticon, you can continue to uh, use your vacuum chamber for a longer period of time to really pull stuff into great big rocks. But the problem is you have to then coat it again and then you got to heat it. And and I, I just find it for most situations, uh, it's just a little too complicated. If I was trying to hide a crack in an agate or something, I, I might, I might use the Opticon, but, but for just everyday stabilization of turquoise, chrysocolla, and other things. Uh, I like this method the best. Y'all take care.